Hello and welcome back. It is great to see you here. Prodigy Fest is still going on. Super excited. I've got my apple pot battle about to start right now. And then we'll get back to Skywatch and go ahead and see what's going on there. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and uh, keep on playing, keep on getting your battles in and enjoying Summerfest as well. I don't know if I'll have enough to finish up my Dra uh, Draconix armor today, but I'm hoping that I will be able to. So let's go ahead and start our Apple Pot battle. Uh, we are taking a look at multiplication now. So I might be moving a little slower through the questions uh, just so we can go ahead and talk about what multiplication is and try to understand what it's doing. All right, so it's Falling Star Smash. Here we go. So find A, the missing number in the equation. 5 times A equals 35. Okay, so now let's go ahead and just think about what multiplication is first. And so I think we're going to go ahead and move over to coins and just talk about groups and what groups are. Because uh, multiplication is sort of a way to add groups together without having to add so much. So we have our one cents. If you click them, they tell you how much they are worth, which is just a really cool function. Helps out quite a bit, right? Um, so we have five pennies. Five pennies is equal to a nickel. So that is equal to a nickel, um, which means that a nickel represents five pennies. Or a nickel could be viewed as a group of five pennies, right? So if this is our five, what we are asking is how many uh, of nickels would equal 35. Now there's no sense at all, so we're not talking about that, but it's kind of the same. How many groups of five do we need to add together in order to get 35? So this would be like counting on by fives and then stopping at 35 and checking how many we have. Now we can also think of our five as being a part of a group as well. So we can go ahead and get back to our coins. And if we thought of, let me go ahead and just do this completely over here so we're not putting equal signs together that don't make sense. If we have two nickels, which would be five plus five, that would equal one dime. So a dime would be a faster, easier way to represent uh, two nickels. So if we have, because this is five, this is five, this is ten. And it would be faster to um, multiply or to add together a group that cons consists of 10 than it would be a group that would be 10 pennies, right? So um, the grouping helps us to speed up our math quite a bit, and it's quite important. So let's just go ahead and um, do this an easy way, have an easy strategy first. We have 5, 10... 15, 20, 25. We need as much practice with money as we as we can get. 30, 35. So we've gotten to 35. Let's go ahead and uh, count how many nickels would equal, how many groups of five would equal 35. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So five times A, five times seven is going to give us 35. All right, let's cast our spell. And we landed it, which is great. We took the time to think it through, which is huge. So only 2,300 uh, points of damage. This might be, ooh, and Apple Pot hits. This might be a um, three attack battle for Apple Pot. Which multiplication property does this sentence show? Four times X, e <laughs> four times zero equals zero. Um, is it the zero element, the identity element, or the distributive? So if we're able to look and see what type of properties are uh, happening, it's easier for us to figure out the answer. So let's go ahead and click on our light bulb here. And here is a list of the different properties. There's the commutative, there's associative, identity element, zero element, and distributive. 
And if we know the property of this, it'll help us to get our, an our answers together. So spending some time with this is uh, definitely worthwhile. If you would like me to do a video specifically on the properties of multiplication, please leave a comment below. I'm more than happy to go over this in a little bit more detail. So the description for commutative is when two numbers are multiplied, the order of the numbers doesn't matter. So five times four, is gonna equal 20, just like four times five does. So it doesn't matter which, which is first. Uh, five groups of four, or four groups that have five in them, still have 20. Associative says when three numbers or more are multiplied, the product is the same, regardless of the way the factors are grouped. So if we have three times four times five, and we multiply the three times four first, and then the times five after, it's exactly the same as if we do four times five, and then we add, multiply the three. And so whatever is easier for you will help with that. So the identity element says any number times one is equal to itself. Five times one equals five. If there's a, a group that has five things, that group is worth five. And that's all that that's saying. Um, zero element. Any number times zero is equal to zero. So eight times zero equals zero. It follows the zero element. You're saying I have eight of nothing, therefore I have nothing. Um, distributive. The sum of two numbers times the third number is equal to the sum of each addend times the third number. So four times five plus seven equals four times five plus four times seven, okay? So if you add them together first and then multiply, you're getting exactly the same answer as if you multiply and then add. Okay, so, but this is clearly the zero element because we are multiplying by zero. Let's cast that spell. Woohoo! So I think this multiplication, I do want to make sure I'm taking my time as I go over it. We'll probably have two, two or three videos on multiplication here in our third season, in our third grade content, but I do want to make sure I'm going over it thoroughly. All right, Falling Star Smash, here we come. You have two bags, let's X out of that. You have two bags of candy, each with two pieces of candy in them. How many pieces of candy do you have? So we have two bags. Okay, and then that looks like an upside down mushroom there, but this one came out like a duck. <laughs> it's getting there. It's getting there, but it didn't turn out. Okay, so we have our two bags. We have our huge pieces of candy, two bags of can of can two pieces of candy in each bag, and there we go. So how many do we have? Well, it's quite it's quite apparent that we have four, right? We don't need to uh, spend too much time adding that up. So two bags of candy with two pieces of candy in them, that's gonna mean four pieces of candy. And it's good to draw it out visually if you do need that in order to see it clearly. Okay, goodbye apple pots. So I had 36 sand dollars, which means we're getting 10 here from our apple pot battle. And so I think we'll be getting, let's open up our chest. We might have enough to go ahead and finish up our, finish off our uh, Draconic set. And we still need Skywash for 25%. Thank you, Newt, for letting us know. All right, let's go to Skywatch. Let's play. Okay, so we are, let's talk to them. we have your trimmers. You can fix up the trolley to the rest of Skywatch. All right, so we have the trimmers and we need but to... The monsters. We need to watch out for the monsters as we fix the trolley. Okay, Lizard. Time to help out again. First, trim the vines covering the trolley. Then check on the wind machine for me, okay? Okay, so the trolley and then the wind machine. I love... I love these trolleys so much. Okay, so we have a new monster over here. I'm going to see if we can get around it, though. I'm, I'm feeling better going up. I'm feeling like there's a higher percentage of us sneaking past going up. Let's see. Are we going to get lucky? No whammies. No whammies. You're a new cool monster, but I am just doing the walkthrough right now. I do want the heart balloon, though. All right, 30 gold and 10 arrows. Cool. We burnt it up. 
Fantastic. Okay, there's a treasure chest over here. I think I'm going to go ahead and try to save that for later as well. See if we can get past this brawl. Oh, we are not going to be able to make it past. Acromi. Past the Acromi. All right, so we have two uh, monsters we are fighting, so we are going to be doing our AoE attack. Complete the multiplication sentence that the following images represent. All right, so we have... Three groups, which is defined by the colors, right? And then inside each group is going to have five stars. So we have three groups, five stars in the group, five, 10, 15, three times five, that's gonna equal to 15. So three times five is gonna equal 15. And that's what this is representing. I like how there's the color in between. And hopefully you've done it on enough with subitization that the numbers just pop right up as that being uh, equal to five. All right, woohoo. So up, up, up it goes and down. Let's see if we can go ahead and, all right. So we're doing pretty good here. I'm gonna do one more AOE. I want to get both of these, uh, both of these monsters. I hope I don't knock that second one out. Okay, Itzik goes to play tennis with four friends. Each friend brings six tennis balls with them. Complete the multiplication sentence below to show how many tennis balls there are in total. So for each friend brings six tennis balls, we're figuring out how many tennis balls total we have. So, um, you can use the counters, you can also do coins if you want to do coins. Um, it wouldn't be too, you know, let's go ahead and do this. It wouldn't be too difficult to do our six tennis balls with five and six. So that would be one friend. This would be another friend. Um, using the tools that you have to make pictures, to use the mani manipulatives, really, really helps if you are, uh, you know, having a little bit of uh, difficulty with understanding and that it's perfectly fine to um, go ahead and make sure that you're getting the right answer. This is, this is why all of this is here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, instead of uh, counting on by six, I'm just going to do my fives and then count on by ones, all right? 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And so that's a way that I can simplify it in order to make sure that I'm not feeling overwhelmed. And so keeping your head in the game, making sure you're breathing when you're learning something new that might feel a little bit challenging, a little bit difficult is super important. And so I hope you guys are also doing that. And it looks like we will be able to get both of them. Awesome. So a Chromie, let's go ahead and see. Hopefully we can rescue you. 1635 points of damage, critical hit. Way to go, buddy. Yes, let's rescue you. I am super excited. We are going to try. Let's hope we can make uh, we can break the mind illusion. Okay, so Anais goes out to lunch with two friends. They all get the $4 special and she agrees to pay. So... Anais goes out to lunch with two friends. So there's three people eating, and then it's $4 per meal. So three times four, we can skip count by three, or we can skip count by four to get our answer, or count on by four uh, to get our answer. So I'm gonna go ahead and count on by four. There's four, eight, swoop, and then 12. And if I wanted to do it by threes, I could also do it by threes. That would be three, six. Oh, haha. Let's put a little top on that. Don't know what happened with my uh, mouse there. My mouse pad. Okay. Three, six, nine, twelve. So twelve dollars for all of the meals. That was very sweet of a nice, wasn't it? All right. Let's cast that spell. Woohoo! Very nice special treat. And we have an Akromi. Yes. Awesome. That is so exciting. I love when I get new pets. Here is Hyphon. Hyphon is using unlimited power. Boom. And it hits. All right, Hyphon. Let's see if we can go ahead and get you. Yes. Let's go ahead and rescue you. 
<laughs> yes, we want to break the mind illusion. All right, so we're gonna fill in the missing numbers in the following equivalent expressions using the distributive property. Remember, if you don't know what distributive property, or if you get to this word and you're like, man, I do not know what this is, read it out loud, okay? Make sure you're understanding the language. So the distributive property is gonna be here, which is four times nine equals four times five plus four. So we're breaking it down into smaller manageable abilities. So this says five times five plus two. So that would be five, five plus two is seven. So five times seven equals five times five plus two. Five times, we're gonna use the five first, five times five plus five times two. And then this is making five times seven a little bit easier Five times five, you'll probably know before five times seven. So five times five is gonna be 25. Five times 10 is gonna be 10. So 25 plus 10 is the same as five times five plus five times two, okay? And so we're, let me just draw some arrows to see how this is going. So this is the five that is here. This is the two from here. These two numbers, five times five, they equal 25. And then five times two equals 10. So we take the seven and we move, we, we break the seven apart to set five plus two because that would be easier to work with. It would be easier to see the math. And so that's why we're using the distributive property. And then we do five times five plus five times two. We added up 25 plus 10. That's pretty easy. We're just adjusting the tens place. So 25 plus 10 is gonna be 35. All right, let's cast that spell. And Hyphon, come to us. Woohoo! Oh, that's a neat little gallop there. That looks beautiful how it runs. All right, let's click next here. My dog is singing there for a little bit. Apologies for that. All right. Ten stars here. Let's open up our chest. Love to see those sand dollars and 20 arrows as well. Okay, so we are definitely going to open this up. Wrench, um, yeah, you know what, let's wear it, why not? Share it with our buddies. Great. Okay, we're gonna come down here. Oh, don't, don't, do hoo hoo oh, good, that was close. All right, so let's go ahead and head on down to this. Thought we were gonna get into ourselves into a little battle there. All right, so you need to inspect the machine. Oh man, that looks crazy. Uh-oh, those vines look too strong for a vine pruner. We should tell Benny and Broccolina about this. All finished. Let's head back, okay? Yeah, let's head back, Newt. Let's go right straight back. Wow, what a chance. Thank you, Benny. I'd say it's time for you to learn a new that would be awesome. All right, we got the basic storm relic. That is cool. Oh no! Those nasty clouds have clogged up the machines again! Oh! They seem to come back a lot, but don't worry. We just need to upgrade the trimmer. Okay, so upgrading the trimmer looks like what we'll be doing next time. Not a bad idea. The parts are in the factory, but it's locked and Gramps has hidden the key again. Man, that Gramps. Look for clues around Skywatch? They'll tell us where to find the key. Okay, so we need to look for clues everywhere, it, it appears. And let's go ahead and share that with my buddies. Um, and that is what we're going to be working on next time after we have our battle with the Apple Pot to make sure we are getting the rewards each and every day. So make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, keep on getting your questions in, get your sand dollars every single day, um, and I will see you in the next video. Keep on prodigying on, guys. Have a great time. Take care. Bye-bye.